What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, SNG with AB. Ah, I got y'all. Look, I'm just trying to shorten everything up so we can get right into it. Now look, you guys seen the thumbnail, so you know I'm on that copycat kick, right? Today I'm getting ready to show you guys how to make the KFC, you know, these uh these popcorn chickens. You know what? This is it right here. I call them nuggets. I don't know what about that popcorn, whatever it is, but check this out. You can't say KFC without saying 11 herbs and spices. I got it, I'm not gonna over talk it, so let's get it. Okay, so here, this is everything that you're gonna need, right? You know, to go ahead and make it. I got my pot, I got all my spices and herbs, I got my chicken, and I got a couple of bowls. Now, all of the ingredients will be down in the description box below. And then as I use them, I'll flash them across the screen. But don't forget, check the description box below and you'll get the amount and the ingredient name. So, first thing we wanna do is we wanna get ourselves a bowl, you wanna get yourself some buttermilk, and we're gonna get some salt. Let me get that set up and then we move forward. Now, before we get started, look, I probably should have said, let's go ahead and address the, the elephant in the room. This is their actual, I want you guys to like look at the size of these right here, you know? Let's see if we can get these to focus a little better, there you go. So, you can see the size, look, I'm gonna make some about this size, but we're not gonna have none of them small ones, like you can see them like this right here, like some of the smaller ones, right? We just wanna make them pretty much this big so we can have, you know, a piece of chicken in our mouth. Hey, outside of that, look, I'm gonna set this off to the side and check it out, I got me a box. So look, we gonna fill it up and I think I'm gonna take, I don't know, maybe I should cross it out and just be like, this is AB's fried popcorn chicken. Hey, anyway, look, got my bowl, right? I'm gonna go ahead, got my buttermilk. And then right here, we wanna take like a half a teaspoon of uh, salt. So. Have a teaspoon, shake it so we can level it. We just finna be accurate as we can. I'm gonna let this sit just for one second because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna trim these up, we're gonna cut our bites, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, put this in there, and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator. So, set this off to the side. Okay, look, I'm gonna just take this right here. I got my knife. Look, we're gonna trim some of this off of here, you know? So we'll just take it. Matter of fact, look, let me just cut it like that. Now, we're gonna have a piece like this. This right here, I don't so much worry about. I mean, since it pulls off easy, I will, but you just wanna get the bulk of it off. Obviously, these are chicken breasts, so you cut them how you wanna cut them, how big you want them to be. I'm gonna cut them like this. About this size. And then what we'll do is we'll cut some strips. About like that. And then we'll cut some about this size. You know, I like them to be meaty and big. So we'll just go ahead and put them in our buttermilk and salt, you know, mix. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep cutting these, right? I want you guys to do that. And then I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just put them in like this. Once I get done, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I mean, I gave you guys just like the gist of it already. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in, into the refrigerator. We're gonna let it stay in there for just about an hour. Then after that, we'll take them out. And then we're gonna get everything ready, you know, to go ahead and fry. Okay, we got them all cut so you guys can see. I haven't mixed nothing in there. I want you guys just to like look at the size. And you know, when you cut chicken, it's gonna be like a little tacky, right? So I put it in here. I didn't even mix the uh, salt up. Why? Because I put a glove on and what we're gonna do is put our hand in here and we're just gonna go in here and just get them all coated. Then when I'm done, I'll go ahead and put some saran wrap over the top. You know, any type of uh, plastic wrap. Even if you got foil, that works too. Let me get it covered, put it in there. And meanwhile, we'll go ahead and get our, uh, our flour together. Okay, so now we're in the refrigerator, right? We got the chicken in the refrigerator inside of this little buttermilk marinade. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna move these over. And what you wanna do is you wanna get yourself a bowl. Get your bowl, get yourself a bowl like this, right? Now, there's no right way or no order. What you wanna do is get all of your herbs and spices in here. So we'll just start with the flour, paprika, Okay, you just seen the flour and the paprika, right? So now we're gonna add thyme, ginger, garlic salt, dried basil, dried oregano, celery salt, mustard powder, white pepper, and then we're gonna put a half a teaspoon of salt, right? Listen, that's all of the ingredients. And I wanna tell you this, listen, they add MSG, but listen, we not doing that. So we set that off to the side, we get our pot, and now let me explain that. So what you see here is, look, I got a candy thermometer. Cause look, I'm gonna be using vegetable oil, right? So we're gonna put that in here and then I'm gonna be using this strainer right here to get them out, shake off the oil and then put them on my cooling rack. 
Now, the candy thermometer, this is where I can see when I get up to 350 degrees, right? So once I see that, then I know I'm good, and that's when I do it. So, we're not gonna over talk it, we finna wait, and then we finna get right into it. Okay, it's been an hour. I removed these out of the refrigerator, right? Look, get yourself a strainer, it'll be much easier if you do this. But, you can do them like this, get yourself a big enough bowl, just go ahead and just pour them, just like you see, like this. Now, what I wanna do is, I wanna grab this here, I wanna grab our flour, right? And listen, I got another baking sheet. I'm just gonna set that on top of this one, right? So you see this one, put it there. Now, I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna start coating these. And as I coat them, I'm gonna shake them dry. Then I'm gonna just put them and line them up there. Meanwhile, you wanna put your oil in your pot and start bringing it up to temperature. And we are gonna cook them, we are gonna fry them at a 350 degrees. Now, listen, after you have them over the strainer and they have already dripped, right? Just go ahead and get yourself a few, use one hand. Right, you wanna take them out of there, dip them into the flour, and then you just wanna make sure they coat it. Once they coat it, just go ahead, shake off the excess, and then continue. Look at those, you can look at the size of them, and just know that, that I only use two, you know, they were kinda of like, they were rather big, but this is just two chicken breasts. So we got this here, I've already started bringing my oil up to a temp, so once we reach 350, then it's gonna be time to go ahead and put those in there. Then you wanna get yourself a rack like this so that they can drip dry you know, and get some of that uh, oil off of them. Don't forget, we're using vegetable oil, vegetable oil, so let's get it. Okay, my thermometer, it reads 350 degrees. It's actually at, when I look at it, it's getting, it's starting to approach 360, but moving real slow, which is good, because don't forget, we came out of the refrigerator, right? And we got them coated. Now I'm gonna take these, I'm just gonna put them away from me, and we're not gonna put so many in there, but you know it's gonna cool the oil down just a little bit. So, we'll just do them like this. Now, it's gonna take about four to five minutes if you were able to maintain your temperature at about 350 degrees, right? So, you wanna look for that right there, that golden brown color. Once you achieve that, then you can go ahead and take those off, put them on your, you know, your baking, your cooling rack. You know what I mean? Look at that color right there. That right there is fire. So we're gonna continue the, pro the, uh, the process until all of them are done. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them. Gotta let them cool because you can't eat them when they're hot like this. But look at those right there. Ah, yeah. We'll just add more. We'll keep going as soon as they're done. After they cool, we're gonna go ahead and taste them. You know, cut them so you guys can see the inside. And we'll move forward. Now here is my last batch. After tasting the first one, I went to about five minutes. They were a little bit darker in color. I mean, I love that color. But if you take them out at four minutes, and it all depends on the size, right? So when you take them out, you know, they start looking like this, right? Listen, they still darken up a little bit even as they start to uh, cool. So it depends on the size, but I'm gonna say anywhere between four to five minutes because they're small, you know what I mean? And then uh, you got them. And what you wanna do is you wanna sprinkle a little salt on top of them, especially while they're hot. So it, it, it will, it will uh, adhere, you know, just to wake it up just a tad bit. You know, that's completely optional. But there we have it, let's take this off. Now let's go ahead and let them cool and then we finna eat some. I want you guys to take a look. <laughs> look at that right there. Hey, these probably should be called just like straight AB's fried nuggets. Hey, these right here are gonna be fire, folks. So listen, I'm gonna let them cool for at least just one minute. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, taste me one. And then, uh, hey, we finna just like put them in this box. I'm gonna show you my version. We gonna look at their version and then we gonna go from there. Okay, so look. It's cooled enough so that I can, you know, like taste it. What I'm gonna do is I'll just take one of these. I'll just take this one right here. Be easy for me to go ahead and uh, let's see. Can you guys see that? Look at that. Let's see, let's get it sort of focused. Ah, yeah, that's it right there. So look, I'm just gonna go here. You can just see how it just breaks open. Breaks, breaks open. Man, look at that. Nice and moist in the inside. You saw that steam come off. Look, and then I'm gonna hit it with a little barbecue sauce. Now, only thing to do is just like plate them, right? But when you say plate, you know, why not use one of their boxes to put their recipe, you know, and put them in there. This is just my size. I wish theirs was all this size, but there you go, you guys. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think, and I present to you, that's AB's KFC Copycat Popcorn Chicken. 
Hey, so you just seen it. Hey, tell me what you think down in the comment section below. You know what, I'm gonna be interested in reading, you know, what you guys gotta say about just the way it looks. I promise you, listen, it's gonna be a chore because you got to make a whole lot of them because listen, they don't last long. So with that being said, now I'm finna eat me another one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this one. Oh, it's nice and I can feel the heat from it. I'm gonna go ahead and dunk it. Ooh, my goodness. Hey, you see this right here? All I'm gonna say is, check it out. Cheers. <laughs> oh, man. They better watch out, folks. This right here, you guys got to make this. <laughs> hey, I'm I really not going to over-talk it. I'm not even going to try to sell it to you. Listen, if you want to have that KFC, that ooey in your own kitchen, you know what? Make this recipe and come back and tell me down in the comment section below, you know, what do you think about this? And what would you do to send this even more on the edge? Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and tell everybody there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and pan over this one more time so you can see it. And now y'all know this is AB's Fried Chicken.